Hi guys, so I want to talk about something a little different today. So um, this is about July, I've been on a diet, I've lost about 50 pounds and I have been trying to lose weight probably for my whole life and this is the most successful that I've ever been. And I kind of wanted to talk about um, some a technique that I've used to help with motivation. So and obviously, um, overeating and uh, you know obesity is a huge problem in society today. We're um, we're on t we actually have a hundred a hundred million people now um, that are pre-diabetic or uh, diabetic in this country. So it's a huge issue. And I wanted to talk about something that's really helped me kind of get out of that obesity cat category and into that overweight category. So, um, the, uh, so like I said, I've lost 50 pounds. So what I've been doing, uh, the most important thing that I've done, and kind of the two things that I've identified as challenges for myself, and I think probably for most people, are motivation and hunger. And today I wanted to talk about motivation. So, now if you think about um, people that are kind of overweight or obese, um, I don't believe them to be lazy. And actually, if you look at um, my last, one of my other videos, um, I talked about kind of insulin resistance and how if you gain weight, uh, it'll actually, it's actually a bit of a vicious cycle. So as you gain weight and you eat a lot of kind of refined carbohydrates and you eat unhealthy foods, um, pack, you know, foods that come kind of in a box and they're packaged and they've got a lot of sugar and stuff like that. It actually uh, makes you hungrier over time and it can make you just chronically starving all the time. And that's kind of uh, an issue that people uh, face is they, they grow and they grow and they get larger. They actually get more hungry and more hungry. It's, it's kind of a vicious cycle. So one of the things that have really helped me, um, I learned from uh, Scott Adams, not personally. Now Scott Adams is the Dilbert creator and he um, didn't invent this, but he was talking about something called affirmations um, in, in his, uh, it's like his new book, um, how to fail at everything and still win big or something like that. So what he talks about is, um, how people are basically moist robots. People are very persuadable. Um, if you look, if probably if you looked at the American diet right now, it's probably just a mixture of different signals we've had from our culture um, in the past, and then um, and we probably strayed away from that, our kind of our traditional diet, and gone to more what people are kind of telling us to eat: advertisements, snack foods. Um, things we see on TV, um, eating out at um, restaurants, making unhealthy choices. So you have to fight that um, in order to lose weight. So you imagine all the money and um, power that goes into trying to get people to uh, make unhealthy food choices. So uh, I don't think it's about fast food. I don't think it's about really advertisement really, but there's um, so much that have kind of come together to create this standard American diet and people are actually um, dying from it. So you kind of have to cut through um, uh, cultural factors like let's say you go to work, Janet brings in uh, two dozen donuts because it's Monday and people got the blues and you want to cheer people up with um, delicious uh, donuts which is breakfast because um, Breakfast is the most important meal of the day and that donut counts. So uh, other factors include like um, just you see an advertisement on television and it's, you know, you're sitting there and, it, and you weren't hungry and the across the TV comes a an advertisement for Papa John's pizza and it looks delicious and all of a sudden your stomach's rumbling and um, you don't necessarily buy Papa John's but you might go um, start eating chips or something. Uh, you have to fight against uh, boredom. Um, you have to cut through um, hunger as well. Um, 
social situations, people pressuring you to eat, parties, um, work is covering your meal now and you decide, okay, well, since work's covering it, I'm going to, uh, like for instance, for me, my, my work covered a holiday meal and I, you know, I went off my diet for that. I mean, you have to fight against all kinds of different things. And one technique that's really helped me is called affirmations. So what affirmations is, is basically, um, you, you basically, every day, about the same time, you would write uh, on like a notepad, I'll show you, like a legal notepad, and you would write, I, um, Susie Q will be 140 pounds. So it's like that, and you do that about 20 times. And what that does, um, and I really believe in it, um, you know, I don't believe in spirit crystals. I don't, uh, you know, I don't believe in, you know, the touchless kind of, I don't know, all those things that Penn and, that Penn and Teller talk about on their, um, on their bullshit show. I don't, you know, I don't believe in any of that, but I think this is actually um, not as hokey as you think. If you think about it, um, people throughout the day are, are hit with 20,000 different stimuli. Um, so it's really hard to hold on to a goal um, and remember it. And I think that's kind of what has always been my downfall in a diet is like, I'll, uh, I'll forget that I'm on a diet. Like, uh, I'll walk by a bag of chips and I'll just start eating and then I'm like, oh shit, I'm on a diet and I just ruined everything and then it just becomes this slippery slope where you're down, a, you're just, you go down this path and you, you don't get out and all of a sudden, you know, it, you're 20 pounds heavier and it's three years later. Um, not to sound like, like AA or something, but really it's kind of like that. Food is, uh, food does kind of cause a dopamine release. It causes pleasure and that's what people are often seeking, um, when they're eating. So what the affirmations does is it kind of cuts through all of that. And when you see that food, um, if you do it every day, you remember, you're like, okay, well I have my 140 pound weight goal and if you are eating, you'll still have that in the back of your mind. You, it doesn't let you forget that you're on a diet. And it's helped me. I've lost 50 pounds since July. Um, and um, it's been really effective for me. So I would recommend doing that, you know, writing that line out. I, Jeff Pop, will be 180 pounds. And you write that out uh, about, um, about 20 times every day and I do that every day and it's helped me lose weight. Now I do a lot of other different things. I'm on a low carb diet. I, um, I run now, I run every day. I wake up before work and I run um, about three miles, maybe 2.7 miles. Um, I think exercise helps. I think uh, certain diets are better than other diets. Like I think probably a lower carb diet is better. Um, and actually, I think high, low fat is nonsense. Um, cholesterol mostly comes from your liver. It doesn't really come from diet. Um, but the main thing for me was writing out the affirmations. Um, see, I had I made a low car, a low calorie diet work for I lost like 20 pounds that way, and then I switched over to a, a low low carb first it was keto and then i got a little lazy and now it's low carb and it's still um working you know i have i've hit plateaus and everything but i haven't allowed myself to be discouraged like the one thing that doing affirmations does is it doesn't allow you to be discouraged which is you know if you think about being discouraged and going off your diet, it's like pleasurable, right? Like you, you go off your diet and you just have a blast. So it doesn't let you do that. You're like, you're like, yeah, I have this goal and I write it down every day and uh, it's stuck in your head. 
And in order to go off your diet, you'd have to stop writing that down every morning, which uh, once it becomes kind of a routine, you just do it every day. So I hope this helps some of you out there. Um, like I said before, uh, losing weight is an incredible challenge and it's a huge uh, public health issue in the United States. It's, um, I like to think of it as basically what we have been told about food um, from the powers that be or from uh, you know nutrition science and everything I think a lot of it is just BS like like I said before if if I don't think butter's bad for you I don't think salad dressing is bad for you I don't think I know avocados are not bad for you all these things that we've been taught are bad for us, meat, uh, are not bad for us. They're actually uh, way better than packaged foods, than um, even better than like, like bread, honestly. Bread is just turned into sugar once it hits your bloodstream. And sugar is the cause of diabetes, basically. It's basically your body cannot process the sugar anymore because it's not meant to deal with that much carbohydrate like you're if you think of evolutionarily our bodies are probably designed to deal with maybe a, th a third as much carbohydrate as we're uh, subjecting it to so um, if you're trying to start a diet and it's that time I would definitely try affirmations I know it's a little hokey but give it a chance I mean Scott Adams did it and he's got um, he's got all the money so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed watching uh, this uh, video. Please like and please subscribe because it would really help me out a lot and uh, help me uh, come up with more new and interesting content. Thanks a lot.